Friday, which means it's time for our weekend box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Holding on to the number one spot for the second week in a row is the latest James Bond film, Spectre, which took in $35.4 million, bringing its two-week total up to over $543 million worldwide. Also holding on to the number two spot for the second week in a row is the animated The Peanuts movie, taking in $24.2 million for a two-week worldwide total of over $90 million. And third spot is the new Christmas film, Love the Coopers, which brought in just $8.4 million on its opening weekend. Coming in fourth is The Martian. The Martian dropped from third last week, making just over $6.7 million to bring its worldwide total up to $478 million. $78 million. Rounding out the top five is the new film, The 33, which just managed to make over $5.8 million on its opening weekend. John, what stands out to you about this week's box office report? Um, well, first of all, I was a little bit late uh, because of traveling and whatnot to the Peanuts movie party. So having finally, so I, I didn't watch in time for, for last week. Having seen the Peanuts movie uh, thing since then, I adore that movie. I'm so glad it's still hanging on to second place. I just, I my heart smiled from start to finish mm-hmm. in that movie. I was so happy watching it. It was just great. So the other thing, though, this is the one that stands out to me the biggest, was that Love the Coopers came in third at 8.4 or something like that. I'll be honest with you. I was expecting Gem and the Holograms numbers Mm. from it. Now, I probably should have known better because it is Christmas season and it is an impressive cast list. There's a lot of people in this cast that have a lot of different fans, so I probably should know. But honestly, I was expecting like waking up today and finding in our box office report $1.2 million because first of all, it looks horrendous. Second, (laughs) it's had almost no marketing. And third, everybody that I know see because I I did not subject myself to watching it. But all the guys in our crew who have seen it talk about how terrible it is. So I was really expecting it to come in low. Very impressed by that it got 8.7. I'm sure the studio's not thrilled with 8 point something, but I thought it was going to be much worse. Anyway, Shep, what stands out to you about the box office? I love the Cooper. It's like Christian called it garbage. Garbage, That's what garbage. in his New York uh, accent. Yeah, that's the one that shocks me. I mean, I haven't seen the film. I was looking forward to seeing the film. Every critic that I've talked to or read about said it's uh, garbage. But uh, it's obviously the the cast in it, and it just kind of dropping in where people want to see a Christmas movie right now. Perfect timing. I mean, eight million for a film like that, like with yeah. zero, almost a zero rating, is like that's pretty pretty impressive. Uh, Peanuts Inspector, nothing surprising that those stuck around. I mean, I saw Peanuts last week with a, a you know, a, like 300 children screaming, Charlie Brown, and stuff. It was very... <laughs> surprised they even knew who he was. I was uh, you know, hey, look, kids love Charlie Brown. I, I, still, I still love Charlie Brown. I thought there was a few too many Red Baron sequences just for me as an adult, but right. I appreciated it for what they were doing for the kids and the family, so... David, what stands out to you about the box I'm really impressed with the Martian still holding strong. We were talking about yes. earlier. It's in its seventh week right now. It's still holding strong. It was a, I thought it was one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I love the book. Read the book just before I saw the, the film. I thought both did a great job. Uh, Spectre, of course, has to do well. It's not a surprise, but it has to do well. I think I read somewhere that it needs to make $650 million worldwide just to break even. <laughs> 650. Really? Even, though the movie, even though the budget was 250, it needs more than double because of advertising. So it needs 650 yeah. just to break even. So this has to be a juggernaut throughout this, uh, well, I guess into the holidays. It's off right a good now. start. Already cracking the 500 million mark in week two. Yeah. It's probably going to cross and I, that and mark. And I, yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the talking about Spectre and the Martian. I enjoyed both. I'm also very excited to see Peanuts because I was talking to Dennis before this and he said, you know, he asked me like if I've ever seen the Peanuts movie and I hadn't. And he said, it's good. You should check it out. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Now, I don't know about the Coopers. It said it's garbage. Mm. So I might stay away from that one. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go see the Peanuts movie. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.